Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Alrighty then. Day 174, action, reaction. Ah, <sighs> we are pretty far, you guys, even though in reality we're like halfway through the days. Hmm, cool. So, same old, same old with the peoples in here. And my cat just opened up the door. That was cute. He's rolling around on the ground attacking something. And I, uh, I got the music back, as you guys can tell, so that's, um, better than usual. By better than usual, I mean way better than the last part, because it's a new world, and I gotta make sure I got the music working for the new world, of course. You guys ready for the new world? I think it's actually the last world we got to go, we get to go to. Um, let me think. Um, yes, yes it is. This is... Wonderland, oh, Nef, Wonderland, Neverland, yay, Neverland. Basically, kind of just like an island. Not very magical. The people on it are pretty magical, I guess, even though you only see, like, three people. Whatever, we're looking for a heartless called a wave crest, which is a pretty tough heartless, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the heartless, you guys probably will not like him either. So, we got a bunch of water, you, you can't jump off the edge, just so you know, they won't let you. So come up here and you'll activate cutscene. And we got some hook faster, Smee, put your back into it. Aye aye, Captain Hook. There's no mistaking it this time, the treasure is certainly here. That would be a nice change of... Uh, from the last dozen, and with the luck you've have, oh, I can't read with their voices. I have to think about their voices. I have to think about talking, and it's just like not gonna work. You guys got eyes. And basically, what they're doing is they have found a bunch of maps. Basically, I don't know how, and they're just digging up each spot on the map or on the maps. And every single time has been a dud so far. And apparently, this one could be the treasure. Oh my god, Captain! Captain, I've struck something. Oh? Ooh, it's a box. Haha, -ha, show me the matter of the treasure we found. And inside the box is... Another dead end. Nothing. Yay. They still got a whole pile of maps to follow. Wow. Okay, have fun digging up a bunch of holes, weirdos, looking for treasure. I like Smee, but Captain Hook's a little weirdo. And the darkness around him, that's like his greed, I guess. His greed, whenever he starts getting greedy, the darkness shows up, and then Heartless appear. And they don't know anything, apparently. I mean, he's got a sword, I guess he could fight the Heartless, but they never do, they just run off. Back to their boat. Ah, oh, just three little heartless. Their lives are so meaningless. They were sent to Earth, and they have been on Earth for a couple of seconds, and now they're going to die. Like, when they signed up for Heartless Academy, did they, like, realize that they did not really have a shot at beating me? Their little powers that take five minutes to load, and they move really slow? Whatever. Have fun. Now that, uh, air batter guy, dude, he's pretty tough. But the rest of these two, they're kind of wimpy. Explosions! I love explosions. Explode. Ooh! Air Battler! Yeah, he's cool. So I signed up for high school. Yay! Just so you know. I'm gonna be a sophomore. And I'm looking forward to the school year. Really, really looking forward to the school year. Gonna be doing swim team, first of all. Basketball. And track and field. And that's a pretty good combination, I have to say. Because the area where I live, swimming is a fall sport because I don't live in a big city. And we don't have any heated pools. So once it gets to fall, I and mean, once it gets like later into the season, it gets, so the water starts getting really cold. So that's when we call it a season. But we swim for all the time we can. And I love it. I swim for the, about half the year, every year. I'm going to start doing it for even longer. So we got to track down the wave crest, which is some... Dude, apparently he's over here, so let's go over here. Oh, look, it's these dudes. Oh my god, 
out it's Tinkerbell. Set a course, me. Where to, Cap? To wherever the next map says treasure is. I'm not going to give up until I struck gold. You'll find me that treasures me, even if it means sinking up every inch of the S Island. I cannot talk. A uh, fun fact, uh, Tinkerbell in this game does not say a word, even though she was originally going to be have voice. I guess they eventually realized that, oh wait, Tinkerbell doesn't have a voice. Are we stupid? <laughs> because, yeah, Tinkerbell never talks in any of the games or any of the TV shows, I don't believe. And that's why. But they actually had, like, a little card made for her and everything. Ah, my voice. <sighs> so she's gonna spray some pixie dust on us because I guess she recognizes us or something, even though, like, what? We've never seen you before. First time you've ever been to this world. What are you talking about, Tinkerbell? You little fairy? I think, no, pixie. Whatever, I don't know. They're all the same. So, I think she just put some pixie dust on us, and that's kind of odd. Oh my god. <sighs> yawn attack right there. So she wants us to go to the boat. You want me to jump? Wait. Are you saying I can fly? Oh my god. So apparently Roxas trusts a little fairy thing that he's never seen before. That just came up to him, put some dust on him, told him to jump off the cliff, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Oh my god, who's that kid? Oh my god, it's Roxas. Oh my god, it's that kid. Well, that was weird. Who the heck was that kid? What else? Whatever. I don't think Roxas even noticed it. Ah, uh, but is that stuff you sprink? What is that stuff you sprinkled on me? And I guess this is where she would have talked, saying it's pixie dust or whatever. But she doesn't talk. She's a fairy, and fairies don't have the right to talk in America. <laughs> they don't get the vote either. No, I'm being stupid. Ah, uh, I, I can't think of anything to talk about because this is a long part. Holy cow, night. God, it's like 19 and a half minutes. Golly. You know what? Yeah. Everyone is stupid. Okay, whatever. So what you gotta do now is you the fairy wants you to go do something for her, but, you know, we are Roxas, and we are too good for that. And this is extremely difficult controls, especially that I'm on a keyboard. This is that one thing I was fearing. Because there's a handful of fights in this game where you have to be flying, and it's extremely difficult to do. Especially on a keyboard. I remember it was hard because I am used to playing on my DS, my DS had my the back buttons were always like sticking. So I'd always get it like stuck and it was just bad. Never good, never good. Oh my gosh. This is optional, I think. No, wait, is it optional? I'm not sure. I think you have to kill all the... You know, I, I don't know. I'm doing it. You guys might as well do it. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. If anything, it helps. You get experience. You get money. You get even a little health, so it won't affect you much later. It's just like, why not? And they got a tree right here. It's pretty beautiful, if you ask me. Although, there is a, a suspicious blue tone going on around this place. Everything looks not green like it should. But it is Neverland, so I can't really expect much out of it. Whatever. E oh, by the way, the way to go up, I think, is like Y or the X button. And then to go down, I think, is like Y or the X button. I don't know. Something stupid like that. Oh, the water is freaking out because the DS, the, my computer is like, what the heck is going on? Why is he flying? Well, it's, I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? You want to go to each of the treasure, like, holes, and there'll be, like, some up on the cliff, and I think one or two on the ground. And you gotta fight, oh, dang it, it's all like, glitched up again. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what happens, but my sound will desync randomly. And there's no way to fix it. No way to fix it at all. It's kind of disappointing. Got nothing, I cannot do anything to fix it. But all you gotta do is fight the, like, the flying dude, not the little dudes, because they're not apparently good enough, not worth our time. Whatever. <sighs> Here's another one we got. Come on, there you go. You know, I'm gonna pause really quick, and I'll
and I'm going to set all these to be super sped, okay? So hold on one second. Alright, that should be better. Um, the sound is even more messed up, I bet, because it's super sped and it's desunk and it's just like a big mess, basically. Ah, oh, defeat down. So, I don't know. Here's another one. Come on. It worked for a second there, I saw it. You want to die? You guys want to die? I like this being super sped crap, because they're just like... I think if you try jumping off the wa jumping off to the water now, by the way, you will make yourself automatically fly right before you get to the bottom. Or if you try jumping off the cliffs, maybe. I'm not sure. Another one of these schmucks we gotta beat up. Uh, at least they're not that much health, so they're not that bad. And... Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he's doing that stupid air, air sliding attack. That's annoying. You want to know something annoying? Talk to this air battler, and he'll teach you something annoying. Just get back here. Get back here. See, this is what I'm talking about. How this is, like, just bad. Wouldn't you guys much rather see me doing this in fast mode than this anyways? Got him. Thank God. Thank God. You always appear right... Oh, I guess you will fall off the cliff. You always appear right where you were when you left, so that's kind of something. Oh, it's a shark. Oh, well. Um, we got to go up here, I guess, and we got another one. Gosh, dang it. Oh, you got to beat the guys that appear in the little scene. That's what you got to do. That's what it is. Like, see, I'm about to kill this one. This one won't affect anything because it's not the one I was told to kill. Like, this one is the one I was told to kill. And then it goes back. It's kind of weird. And the last one is over here, I believe. Let's go get it. At least I think this is the last one. Oh, gosh dang it. We can't click on all these stupid annoyances around. Everybody dies. You there. Yes, you. You will be the first one to go. At least you can tell when I'm about to kill something because of the sound. <laughs> I don't know how this happens, the sound getting desunk. Windows Movie Maker, sometimes I wonder. I like Camtasia a lot more. It's just the uploading so much different that I gotta still figure it out. So, are you guys ready to take on the whole reason we even came to this stinking planet or world or whatever you want to call it? Oh, that's a pretty nifty thing right there. I'm going to super speed this fight, too, because I care about you guys. <sighs> oh, boy, I'm yawning. I'm yawning. God, I'm loud. I'm thirsty. Hold on. Ah, it's good. It's a good drink right there. How about there? Um, yeah, this dude. Tag his tail, tag his wings. And you should be good. Stay out of the way from his laser beams and his little spinny attack. Uh, I think he's weak to fire. Don't hold me on that. I'm just thinking that he is because he looks like he's ice. I got no idea. He could be fly. I like using fire just because I don't have to get too close and he can't attack me randomly. But you will have to sometimes. I mean, locking on helps, I guess. Not the best. And, golly, this is just... And you got the other dudes, like, spawning randomly. It's kind of annoying, you know? Even if you just kill them, they're going to keep spawning. There's a laser beam. Ah, Pojad. Okay. Uh, yeah, stay at good health. Do not try doing a limit break on him randomly, because if he kills you, you'll cry, okay? You will cry, and it will not be pretty. Everyone will laugh at you. I'll join in the laughing. That's how bad it will be. I will join in the laughing. So jump off the ledge and you'll fly like an eagle. I think that's something like that. There's a song that goes like that. So basically, we're just going to blow off Tinkerbell and just go, you know, do what we want, you know? Tinkerbell can kiss my butt. My voice is tired, but I, I want to get at least one more video narrated in this sitting, so... Actually, I got to get more than just one. I got a couple hours to kill, but my voice is so tired. It sucks. It sucks being a child of three, and they're all annoying, and having only one family computer, and 
and you only get hour-long shifts, and the computers and are not in a quiet room, and it's just not fun at all. I'm a horse. Yeah, so we get our little uh, magical flying powers and stuff. It's not an ability, which kind of sucks. You only have it in this world. Whatever. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Roxas feels like he's done it before. That's kind of kind of odd, you know? Has Roxas ever flown before? I don't know. Asking the wrong guy. Okay, I do know, but shut up. I'm being secretive. And here's Axel. <sighs> Golly. What's up, Axel, my homie G-Dog? You wanna come sit with me up here? Axel, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, I flew today. Flew? Yeah, like a bird. Well, sort of. Do they have airplanes in Kingdom Hearts World? Because I have never seen one. Now that I think about it, they have rocket ships. Yeah, I bet they have airplanes. You can't have a rocket ship without having an airplane. That's a thing. That's a... That's a must-have thing. Whatever. Awkward silence is awkward. I wish Gion would wake up so I could tell her about it. That's good, Roxas. Okay, guys. Uh, we're about near the end of the video, so if you would like to do me a favor and like that video, because it was very nice, comment, like the video, please, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every comment, even if it's a bad comment.